In this video, we're going to solve a common interview question called FizzBuzz. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Here's how the question typically goes. We're asked to print numbers 1 to n. For each number, we check if it's divisible by 3, and if it is divisible by 3, we print fizz. If it's divisible by 5, we print buzz. If it's divisible by 3 and 5, we print fizz buzz. And if none of these conditions are met, then all we do is go ahead and print that number to the screen. Let's go ahead and take a look at some example input and output. For this example over here, we're going to be going from 1 to n, where n is equal to 15. So as you can see for our input, we start at 1 and we go all the way to the value 15. And then for our output, we're going to evaluate each number to see if it's divisible by 3, it's fizz. If it's divisible by 5, it's buzz. If it's divisible by both, it's going to be fizz buzz. So taking a look at number 1 over here, it's not divisible by 3 or 5, so we just have 1, the same for 2, but 3 is divisible by 3, which means we print fizz. And then for 4, it's going to be 4, and 5 is divisible by 5, so we're going to print buzz, and 6 is divisible by 3, so we print fizz, and you can see we just go along doing that for each number. But when we get to 15, which is a special case, it's divisible by 3 and 5, so we print out Fizz buzz. Let's go ahead and solve fizz buzz. I'm going to show you two possible ways that you can solve it. We're going to be using VS Code and JavaScript to solve fizz buzz. To run the JavaScript, I have Node installed. And within VS Code, I also have an extension installed called Code Runner. Code Runner is really convenient. It adds this play button over here and can run all types of code as long as you have the underlining technology installed. So I've installed Node and because of that I can go ahead and create a file called index.js. Within index.js we'll go ahead and just add a console log and we'll just put a hello, save it, hit that play button. It executes it as a node code over here and you can see it prints hello to the screen. Let's go ahead and write our fizzbuzz solution. We're going to go ahead and create a fizzbuzz function that returns an array of values. As you may have noticed over here in the problem statement, it mentions that it could also be stored in an array. And our output values are numbers and strings, so it makes sense to go ahead and make that array all one type, and we're going to use string. Let's start by defining our function. We're going to call it fizzbuzz. It's going to take n in, which is the number that we're iterating it to. At the end, we're going to have a result, so let's define an array. At the very end of this function, we're going to return that result. We're going to populate it with all our fizzbuzz results. Outside the function, let's define an n and set it to 15. Then we're going to go ahead and get our result by executing the fizzbuzz function and passing n in. And we're going to log our result to the screen so that we can see what's happening. Let's go ahead and hit that play button and you can see we get an empty array. So we're at a good starting point. Inside fizzbuzz, we're going to go ahead and do a for loop. We're going to create an i, and we're going to set that i equal to 1. And then we're going to loop our i until it's less than or equal to n. Then we'll just increment that i over there. Inside our for loop, let's go ahead and do our first check. We're going to check if the number is divisible by 3. If it is, we're going to go ahead and add fizz to our array. We'll do an if statement and then what we're going to do is we're going to check the i value and see if it's divisible by 3 by using the mod operator or modulus operator. This is going to tell us whether or not there is a remainder. If there is no remainder we're going to get a 0 which means that it is divisible by 3. And if it is divisible by 3 we can take our array and use the push function to push the fizz value onto the array. Otherwise if it's not divisible divisible by 3, we're going to do an else over here. And inside that else, we're going to go ahead and just push the i value on. Now let's go ahead and hit the play button. If we hit the play button, we're going to see that every number that is divisible by 3 has a fizz. But one problem we have here is that our array contains a mix of numbers and strings. So let's go ahead and fix that so that they're all strings. Now JavaScript has a two string method that we can call. So all you have to do is i.toString, and this will convert our number to a string. Hit that 
play button and as you can see our result is all strings inside of array now that we have fizz it's easy enough to add buzz buzz is any number that's divisible by five so we'll go back to our code over here and what we can do is we can just add an else if after our first if and we're going to say i modded by five is equal equal to zero we'll just go ahead and we'll push on the word buzz and save that hit the play button and now we're going to see buzz for any number that is divisible by five let's go ahead and handle our last case if the number is divisible by three and five we're going to go ahead and print fizz buzz now we'll just add our else if over here just like we've been doing with the other ones and we're going to say if i is modded by three and is equal to zero and i is modded by five and it's equal to zero we'll go ahead and push on fizz buzz save that hit the play button take a look at our result and wait a minute that's not working so what happened here well when we had the value of 15 and i was equal to 15 the first check that it did was to check if it was modded by three and if it's equal to zero which it was so went ahead and printed fizz what typically happens is you're following the order that the instructions are placed here and naturally you're going to continue to do one if statement after another to fix this, all we have to do is grab this if statement over here and make it our very first check. So I'll just move this up here. I'll put an else over here. And right above that, I'm going to go ahead and paste that if statement. The first thing we're going to check if it's divisible by three and five, we're going to print fizz buzz. Let's go ahead and try that out. We'll hit play and take a look at our result. And we can see that it says fizz buzz. And we still have fizz and buzz and all the correct places. Let's go ahead and just solve this one more way. I'm just going to copy the contents of this file, go ahead and create a new file called index2.js, paste the code in, and we can hit the play button. We're going to see that it's now executing index2.js, and we can see our solution still working. Now, let's go ahead and make these modifications. Let's start by deleting everything that is inside our for loop so all we're left with is the braces for our for loop here inside the for loop we'll go ahead and define a value and set it to an empty string and if it is divisible by three we'll set our value equal to fizz but instead of just using equals we're going to use plus equals that means we're going to be appending to this string over here now we can do exactly the same thing for if values that are divisible by five we'll just put a five over here and we'll put a buzz over here i'll save that so it formats it lastly any number that's not divisible by three or five what we're going to do is we'll just do another if statement and we're just going to check the value of our string up here and we're just going to check if it's still equal to empty then we'll just change that value to be just the number and we'll use our string method like we did before and the very last thing we need to do over here push on the value that we constructed now what this does if it's divisible by three it's going to append fizz if it's divisible by five it's then going to add buzz so we'll have fizz and then we'll add buzz and then it'll add that value to the array at the end of this for loop if we hit play and we look at our result we're going to see that we got the correct result we have fizz buzz for 15 and all the other values have the correct fizz or buzz value i hope that you enjoyed solving fizz buzz and the two different ways that we did it if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and hit that notification bell.